Now I will talk about the murder of Tair Rada. The murder of Tair Rada, a 13 year old Israeli school girl, was committed in 2006 in the girls' bathroom of her school in Katrin. Roman Zadorov an Ukrainian and resident of Israel was convicted of the murder and was sentenced to life imprisonment on uh, September 14, 2010. On August 26, 2021, the was released from prison to house arrest after many appeals. On March uh, 30, 2023, Roman was released as not guilty for the crime. We we'll talk now about the murder and initial investigation. In December 6, 2006, 13-year-old uh, uh, Tair Rada of Katrin uh, report, reportedly decided to skip the last period of the school day. She stayed outside in the schoolyard with friends for a while before going back into the building to get a drink of water. She was last seen by several students going up a staircase leading to a mid-floor of 10th grade classes. Later that afternoon, when she failed to return home, her mother contacted the police and the, and the search began. That evening, around 7 p.m., she was found murdered in a locked stall in the girl's bathroom. Her throat slit twice and uh, multiple additional cuts to her face, torso, and hands. According to the news reports from the evening of the murder, the, police, uh, the police's initial estimate was that classmates were involved. This theory was dismissed soon, soon thereafter. On the night of the murder, police detained a homeless person as a suspect. Three days later, police detained the school gardener as well. Both were released two days uh, later due to the fact they weren't uh, at uh, or near the school on that day and uh, their alib alibis were confirmed. On December uh, 11th, uh, police detained and interrogated the Dorov. On December 19th, two weeks after the murder, police announced in a press, in a press conference during uh, primetime television on 8 p.m. evening news that uh, Roman Zadorov, a maintenance man, is held as the most likely suspect and that he had admitted and reenacted the murder. A day later, his attorney informed that he had re, re, 
Kented is uh, confession. And the motive for the murder, as initially stated by the police, was insults hurled at Zadorov after he denied Tahir's request for a cigarette. Both her family and friends, however, stated that not uh, only did she not smoke, but she couldn't even stand the smell of uh, cigarettes. They also stated that uh, rude behavior and cursing were very uncharacteristic of her. That motive was dropped. Police later claimed that the motive was sexual abuse Sadorov suffered by female classmates when he was an eight-year-old uh, in Ukraine, which caused a rage fit after he suffered continuous pestering by the school's uh, students during his walk, but uh, that couldn't be confirmed. No alternative motive for the murder was presented by police in the indictment. I'll talk now about the indictment and the trail. I'll start with the DNA. Initially, the Israel police uh, leaked the, the press to the press the DNA samples from the crime scene were matched with Sadorov's DNA and other mounting evidence were cited by the judge when remanding Zadorov in custody. Later, the indictment was filed, was filled uh, with no DNA evidence. The state prosecution explained the filling of the indictment with no DNA evidence or laboratory test results as follows. The fact that the prosecution filled an indictment based on substantial evidence that exists implicating the door without waiting for the U.S. lab results show there is sufficient evidence tying him to the murder and the case is not based only only on the issue, on that issue. The DNA test results were, inclu were inconclusive. Uh, I'll talk now about the shoe imprints. A shoe print police expert by the name Yaron Shaw claimed uh, to have found additional bloody footprints on Tahir Radas jeans that matched, uh, that matched uh, the dog's uh, salamander shoes. British uh, shoe imprint expert Dr. Uh, Guy Cooper testified in uh, nine, uh, 209 that the stains could not be considered the dog's shoe imprints if shoe imprints at all. His testimony was uh, dismissed by the court FBI veteran, shoe imprint expert, William uh, Boziak, also claimed in his 2013 testimony that this stance could not be determined to be the door of shoe imprints, if shoe imprints at all. His testimony was also dismissed by the court. I'll talk about, now about the air. Air discovered at the murder scene 
didn't match the doll. Three pieces of hair found on Randa's body belonged to three different unknown people. Not all of the hair found in the crime scene were tested for DNA since the police told the lab to stop all tests, all tests uh, once the door of confessed. I talk now about the students in Tahir's uh, high school. Media reports in the early days after the murder criticized the Israel police for searching for the murderer through the vast uh, areas of the Golan Heights, of the Golan Heights and uh, the Galil instead of focusing on suspects within the school building itself. One of the students later testified in court that she saw under the bathroom stall where the murder was, where the murder was committed, the Earth's Puma shoes, youth size uh, Alstar shoes and blood. A long list of students went for the bathroom around time of the around the time of the murder, while uh, Tahir apparently struggled with the uh, murders, and some of them even noticed uh, highly suspicious uh, circumstances. Uh, Tahir's mother stated on various occasions that she didn't believe that the Dorov was the murderer and that she believed that the two murderers were from Tahir's world. She alluded that the murderers were high school students whom she believed to be members of a of a satanic cult. In May 2016, an attorney representing, representing the two of the female students, Nofar Ben uh, David and Lee Layani, issued a letter to, leader, to leaders of Roman the Dove's support group, a warning prior to filing a lawsuit letter demanding an apology, adequate uh, monetary compensation and the promise to cease defamatory publication. In response, recipient, uh, recipients of the demands and Fred published on June 4, 2016 a statement rejecting the demands. Later that year, slander lawsuits were filed. I'll talk now about the judicial process. The trial uh, commenced in January 2007 with uh, filing of the indictment in the Nazareth District Court, followed by the September 2010 initial conviction, October 2010 filing of Zadorov's appeal in the Supreme Court of Israel, March 2013 remanded uh, to the Nazareth District Court for additional review of the evidence and uh, February 2014 supplemental judgment by the Nazareth District uh, Court again convicting uh, Zadorov. On December 23, uh, uh, 20, uh, free, uh, free, uh, 2015, 
the Israeli Supreme Court denied uh, Zadov's appeal by a two-to-one decision of a panel of three ju uh, justice, uh, justices. Zadov's team immediately asked for a new hearing by an expanded panel. No signed confession was filed with the indictment. Zadov had been recanted uh, uh, both of his confessions, confessions and refused to sign his uh, second one. However, police officer testified that he confessed in, uh, in, in the investigation that he had committed the murder. No motive for the murder in the, in the indictment. The 456 uh, page uh, September 2010 conviction by a free judge panel added by Judge Itzhak Cohen, the presiding judge of the Nazareth district. Court was read out in a dramatic open court hearing. It stated that there was no doubt that Zadorov was the murderer and that his testimony was full of lies and manipulations. Therefore, Zadorov was further convicted on obstruction of a police investigation. The lack of any motive for the murder was found uh, no object uh, by the judges. In March uh, 2013, the Supreme Court of Israel remanded uh, the case back to the Nazareth District Court for re-hearing of evidence by expert witnesses as requested by Zadorov's lawyers. William Bojiak, a world-renowned uh, forensics expert regarding the footprint uh, found on the clothes of the murder, murdered girl, and Dr. Maya Foreman Resnick, a, patholo a pathologist regarding the murder weapon and the trauma injuries found on her head. He evidence relating to the murder knife and the shoe imprints, key, issue, key issues in this case were not settled. In February 2014, the Nazareth District Court returned a supplemental uh, judgment again convicting Zadorov. The Nazareth District Court rejected the testimony of the defense expert about the kind of knife used uh, in the murder and called the assertion that it was not possible to identify the bloody shoe print embarrassing and fundamentally flawed. The December 25th uh, uh, 2015 denial of appeal by the Supreme Court of Israel was rendered by two to one split panel. On May 11, 2021, the Supreme Court ordered a retrial for Roman Zadorov in his final ruling as a Supreme Court Justice. Hanan Melzer said that based on the evidence presented by his attorneys, there was sufficient reasonable doubt to exonerate the Zadorov. On March 30, 2023, Roman Zadorov was exonerated for the crime. Thank you very much.